What's going on YouTube, man? It's your boy, the True Raw Gaming. I don't wrap it up for you, man. I don't sugar it up for you. I'm gonna get this shit to you raw, man. In today's video, it's been quite a long time since I've been here, man. I, I, I know, I know, I know. But I got an excuse this time, all right? I had the stomach virus for like two weeks. I didn't even know I had it, but I had it. And, 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 and let me just let me just say this, man. I toilet and the bathroom was like my home for like two weeks dude. it was bad i couldn't play for honor man like because i had to sit up man i started playing other games where i was sitting back and then i got too comfortable and i just kind of i don't know i'm slowly coming back though but without further ado man this patch right here is putting us into the new chapter of for honor like this patch right here is solidifying that we are going into the next chapter of honor like we are doing big things here with the other uh test the grounds that we had with the changes uh testing out the stun system that is a big core change and this patch note is starting to kind of push into that direction to prepare for that so we got a lot of things to uncover man let's get straight into it so first things first shout out to the pk mains man you guys got a skin you guys are getting some kind of love here i don't play pk nor do i care for pk um, but she's been getting a lot of love recently. Um, they've been taking a look at her. They've been trying to give her options to kind of be pushed a little bit into the pick rate. But they don't want her to be uh, meta. I think they specifically said they don't want her to be super strong. That's not where they want her to be. It's not her place. They want her to be usable. That's what they want her to be. So uh, I don't think I know anybody who plays PK as a main. But shout out to you guys. You guys got a got a skin. Hooray. Uh, the Cathedral map is the new map that is coming for dominion um i actually was really hoping that we get the forest map i can't remember the name off the top of my head i was really hoping that we get that um that actually is the only map that we're getting um i'm kind of disappointed um i kind of feel like like if we if they would have just waited a little bit longer they could have gave us more than one map i feel like us waiting this whole time for just one map um and, and it's i mean the points were pretty obvious where they were going to put it i mean i don't i don't think that it would have taken that long um i i think if you would have gave us like an extra month or two you could have gave us two maps because i'm thinking of what are the odds and the percentages that you're gonna actually get that map consistent enough 90 percent of the other pool of maps to pull from in dominion is just gonna be the old maps you've been playing the entire time anyway so you have one map out of the entire pool of maps to come from it's it's only a, a chance that you're gonna get this new map unless they're gonna tweak the algorithm where it's gonna be able to be pulling this map a little bit more and that's cool but I, I i don't see you know us getting that many reps on the map early uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna be trying to lobby shop just trying to get the new damn map i mean i think that's what everyone's gonna do but i mean it is what it is i'll, I'll take it it's a win is a win you know what I'm <laughs> a win is, a win is a win uh next up we have highlander oh god it's an abomination of a, of a of a rework um so they're just gonna shoot this bitch into live i guess um i it, it has been approved to go to live um i don't know what to expect i don't know if they went back and changed some of these different things um i'm gonna hope that they did um i mean i i i, I, don't, I don't know um i did see it says dodge four caber toss is now a thing again so that's back on the table um i don't know man my whole thing last time was the inputs were really stacking over um, and I was having a hard time to do certain inputs that I want because the faint button really wasn't registering for me So it, it wouldn't let me do certain mix-ups or defend myself in certain ways And then it started becoming very frustrating because I have a lot of reps So I know what I'm doing with the character, but it, it wouldn't let me do it. So it just kind of pushed me to not play the character um, So I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of on the fence on what they're gonna do with that one I'm not sure I'll probably play with it a little bit because I did have some tech that I told you guys about the end of the video. I didn't actually tell you what the tech was, but I found some things out playing with my other friend who was also um, he plays Highlander, so we found some stuff out, and I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of itching to put pull that on somebody and pull a clip off of that. So uh, anyway, uh, next we have the Warden changes. The Warden change. This is crazy. Like this came out of oh wow, that's crazy. Like I I would have never thought that they would have put any kind of time or work into Warden because like. Why would they do that when they had the, the cash grab for for Walmart? Like I, I, I thought they were done with Warden. But so what they did was um, they're actually getting animation changes. Um, 
they're starting to do these animation changes because I think because the game has been out so long, a lot of these veteran players are able to play off the animations now. And, you know, I, I'm not going to say a lot of players, but there are a good chunk of players out there now who are able to kind of react based on these animations. And it also freshens up the game a little bit more, too, when you're not looking at the same animations that you were looking at for eight years straight. You know what I'm saying? Because he's a day one character. So this is pretty good for him. I'm happy for the Warden, guys. I got a couple Warden mains in the Discord down below, man. It's in the description. Um, I'm happy for you guys, man. You guys are finally getting some love out there, man. And on top of that, you guys are getting your hyper armor. Ho, 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 ho. Hyper armor is being passed out like candy nowadays, man. It's 2024, man. You get hyper armor. You get hyper armor. Hey, everybody's getting hyper armor, man. So basically, he's getting the follow-ups are going to be uh, having um, hyper armor on it. Um, and it's the follow-ups, meaning the follow-ups from the bash itself. So um, the animations look a little different. Um, but I think they did say that um, the inputs for the actual uh, techniques will still be the same. So bash light light will be this will be an example. But the animation itself will be different. And that follow up after when you do that bash so that the light light after the bash will actually be uninterruptible. Um, and the only thing I can think of that as being because they want you to use him one fours. His pick rate is not super high uh, for your average day to day uh, game. He's really good in duels. Um, I don't think a lot of the major of the player base understand how good he is in duels because he's very simple. But if you're a very technical fighter, you can really manipulate your opponent and kind of and, and kind of put them wherever you want. You can kind of do whatever you want with him. Um, he, you have to respect his mix up. So um, I think that the hyper armor is more so he can actually be in the fours a little bit more. And I don't I don't think they're gonna make him super broken over the next you know couple months or for the rest of this year but i think they just kind of want him to be an option type you know type of deal kind of like peacekeeper they want him to be an option so um that is that and now we're going into some of the big things um the following characters have now had all of their back steps removed back steps meaning their back step lights uh if you don't know what a back step light is basically when you could throw a light going backwards and it's it's very Difficult, almost impossible to punish. Um, and these characters actually have the crush encounter. So even if you did try to do anything or like them or try to parry it, it's just going to go right through. So it's completely pretty much safe and it's impossible to stop. So these characters include Warlord, Valkyrie, Kyoshin, Afira, BP, Garangian Guard, and Highlander. So these are all characters that have... Um, the backstep lights, but the backstep lights are also able to crush and counter. Um, what do I feel about this? Well, I think this is a good change. This is, this is a healthy change because when you get to the higher levels and you start playing against some of these guys who are really, really good, uh, uh, it's 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 pretty much nothing you can do. I mean, I mean, if, especially if you don't have a character who has a strong bash. I mean, you, 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 you kind of fought. Like, say, for example, you play Nusha. Nusha's cool, you know what I'm saying? But if you play any one of these characters on, on you know, on the list, and you, even Highland, if you backstep light as a, as a it's, it's not much that you can do. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's, it's, it's not healthy for the game. I do understand it. Am I going to miss it for Highlander? Yes. I missed it for Highlander because they're, they, they I'm not going to go on Highlander right now. I'm, I'm not. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to do it. I told myself I'm not going to do it. And I'm not going to do it. So, we're going to go past that. And yes, this is the part where you guys are going to have to tune in. Because uh, they're nerfing Shinobi again. What What are we doing? What are, where, where, where are these nerfs coming from, dude? Where I want to see the data. I want to see. I want to talk to your data analytics and your analysts. I want to see what data says that the opener light is just completely busted it needed to be nerfed it is out of line i i i, I don't get it i don't i i don't get it i, mean, I, I really don't I, I mean i think they're just nerfing shit to nerf shit at this point because um not only that they did the second hit on the zone down from six to four damage um and i i think he said his excuse was that you're able to um be able to to dodge the first one and still get hit by the second hit of the of the uh of the zone Okay, that's 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 cool, but what are we doing about the other characters like Highlander who wants to do his kick to grab but gets caught out by um uh, uh dodge attacks? What's what what's the difference? 
what what what's the difference there are situations where you're able to, i don't i don't know if anybody knows that but there are ways to get around people who zone like that and you dodge and you still get hit just go the opposite way i there's 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 a lead tip you go the opposite way you're probably going the wrong way I, I don't know maybe, maybe maybe people just didn't know that just go the other way you go the other way you know it won't hit you i i don't know i don't know what to tell you like i'm sure you guys have seen it somewhere in my clip somewhere i i, I if i find it or i have time to look for it i'll find it but there's one guy I, he, he 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 dodged he went the way and it hit him and I did the same setup, and he went the complete opposite way, and it just didn't hit him at all. So it's very frustrating, especially when I'm 1 HP, and I do it, and it doesn't even hit you. So that is that. Uh, next is Hidokiri. Thank God. Fuck you, Hidokiri players, bro. I, I A lot of you guys aren't even real Hidokiri players. Like, you guys just play the character to piss people off. To really just, just, mm, the toxicity. I can just, I can feel it oozing off of your controller like that that's that's how toxic <laughs> he don't carry players are because they're now changing the gb vulnerability on it. um and to not i'm just gonna simplify it for you basically when you would faint an unblockable or faint a heavy of some sort and try to go into a gb you would bounce off and get hit with a massive heavy and then it just will start their chain and slew of heavies that you would have to be forced to deal with. So with the changes, now that won't be a thing anymore. That means Hidokiri players will have to use their fucking brains. That, that's crazy, right? That, who would have thought? Who would have thought you have to actually use your brain to actually deal with the mix-ups? Oh, man. I, I can see it now. I can just see it now, man. Hidokiri players. Uh, yes, my last day. I'm done with For Honor. I'm uninstalled. Or, oh, no, I'm going to go to a different character. What's a more broken character than this one that just needs to be? Oh, 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 oh I, I got a character that can hit hard that you just can't deal anything with. Shigoki. Heavies. Yeah, yeah, same skills. <laughs> Heavies. That's that's what that's all they care about. Heavies. But uh, yeah. So that's that. We got a Fira. Oh yeah, yeah. Just get it. Cause fuck, fuck a Fira, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't think anybody in the community likes anybody who plays Fira, bro. Like that. You are just. You are just one of a kind. You actually played here for 70 reps. To, oh, I'm sorry. 80 reps now. I'm sorry. I know there's one out there who's 80 reps and he's proud of it. But Afira. Now, uh, basically the follow-up heavies after the um, the bash. Um, two of them have been dropped down um, to 14 damage now. Uh, I mean to 16 damage now. So uh, that is that. Um, how do I feel about that? Uh, I feel like it's a good change. I feel like she gets just just too much damage off of a heavy punish. I mean, it, it's it's very easy just to be by a wall and force. You know what I'm saying? It's very easy just to be by a wall. Like, it's it's very easy. I mean, you can even get hit into an, uh, another teammate. I mean, it's 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 so easy and and it's there's really nothing you can do about it. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you like I, like I said, you get hit into a wall after after a um, after a heavy parry. And you get into that wall, bro. It's just look at your health bar and just pray that bitch doesn't just disappear. Because that's that's what it is. I mean, you were you used to be getting 18 damage off of a off of a heavy parry. I mean, you're you're doing almost as much as some of these heavies out here. Like how how is that possible? You know, but I don't really care for a fear. I don't like a fear of players. I I think it should go down to 14. Personally, that's my opinion. I think it eventually will probably go down to 14. This is just a small step. They're taking really, 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 really small baby steps to get where they want the game. That way they don't over tweak something and then have to revert everything back. Because they don't want the game to change that much. So that's what it's looking like they're doing. Um, next we have Orochi. And this one just wow. I didn't I didn't think I would see anything from Orochi. Um, quite honest. Um I, I I just really didn't think or expect anything. I didn't have it even in my brain that Orochi needed to be nerfed in some kind of way. Um, but after taking a deeper look into it, I can kind of see where they were going with this one. Um, the zone has now been nerfed from 14 damage now down to 11 damage. Wow. That is huge because you have the zone spamming Orochis. Uh, they're just spamming zones and it's doing as much as 14 damage. And if you do that twice which is very very like not realistic they do it way more than that in a fight that's 28 damage just off of the zone you know especially if you do it in a mix-up it's very easy uh to to just 
to get hit with. Um, not even that. It's very easy to get hit with that in a in a fours or in a twos, a big team fight or a small team fight. It's very easy to get hit with that, especially when you're trying to peel or you're peeling for somebody or you're trying to um, stop someone's peel. You know, you're getting anti gank You pop a zone. That's 14 damage on both of them. You know they're going to do more than one time in an anti gank So it's kind of like, all right, we, 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 we see where he's going with this. So um the side heavy side heavy has now been nerfed from 30 to 28 Ooh, that's that's gonna hurt like that's that's gonna hurt it might seem like only two damage but i i think you're gonna really notice because um really most of the time you were doing it to catch someone's um dodge attack uh i know in fours you can do it to to kind of uh, peel away from the person in front of you try to get away and hit someone else just so you can slide your momentum somewhere else um, and now with it being 28 instead of 30 um, mm, that's gonna hurt for Orochi mains like now it's kind of like you might as well just use your unblockable at this point because you're not getting the big damage you know like Medj is so um, I don't know man I'm not a Orochi main I don't play a Orochi like that so I, I just know I got I got a friend right there. He's like he's, he doesn't even think he wants to play him. Uh, this next one though, man. Oh boy, Rochi, man, y'all took an L this one, dude. Storm Rush is now down to 17 damage. You guys couldn't even get 18 damage off of a Storm Rush. That is crazy. And like like I said earlier, like these these changes are taking baby steps. So they're not going back up. They're going. They're, if anything, they're gonna go worse they're gonna drop the damage lower for something else or they're gonna come back and revisit the same things here but they need the data first so mm. now so i thought that the storm rush was that was that was a little harsh because um i'm like i mean that he doesn't really have anything else i mean what what else is he had he has a kick you know what i'm saying I, i'm thinking about for players who know what they're doing who are really good players I mean, you're, most most times you're playing with a good player, not laying a storm rush, unless you're ganking, or you're trying to catch someone across the map, um, or like say you're fighting somebody in a team fight and you want to peel and go across like go fight someone else. You're gonna lock off and try to hit your your storm rush just to get over there. But uh, if if they're trying to do a one on one, most of the time it's gonna be reactable. Like they're they're not really landing that. Um, but then I thought about it in a deeper sense is the. Um, the more average players, they definitely do struggle with that. I've heard that a lot. I've even put a couple polls out. I put it in my clips, um, and people definitely say that the storm rush is just too much to deal with, um, especially with people who don't have the greatest hardware. Um, so I, I, I got to remember that too. And and I thought I thought about that, and I said, okay, I can I can see where they're coming from with this change because you got to remember everybody isn't on the the best PC. Everybody isn't on uh, the new gen. I mean, I know we still have some guys on old gen. I know we do have some guys with some terrible fucking internet. Terrible. We all see it online. We got the guy with 90 ping in there, and he's trying to fight and parry lights, but he can't do it. But it's that's that's going to hurt. That is definitely going to hurt because at this point, you're really going to rely on your bash and just your open lights, maybe an unblockable. But you, other than that, that's it. I mean, that, that's it because you got to remember the other, the other testing ground we had with the stun changes. Like, that's... You're not ganking, so I mean, what are you gonna do? You're gonna go to you're gonna go to one v ones. You're not going to one v ones with this damage. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to one v one with Orochi. There's so many better options. You you better not run into a fucking Ocelotto. I I don't know how Ocelotto isn't on this goddamn list. I, I I don't I don't get it. I really don't. Like there's so much other shit to be worried about, and we just have not talked about Ocelotto. Like he's busted. How we how are we not? Like I I, I look look. I just play the game. So last one we got Zerk actually. This is actually the last one. Like we really don't have an Ocelot on Nerf. We have Zerk. Top heavy opener is now down to 28 damage from 29. The top heavy finisher down to 30 from 31. Side heavy finisher down to 32 from 34. And the side dodge lights are actually down to 13 from 15. Here is my opinion on Zerk. Zerk shot up on the uh, pick rate. He just completely skyrocketed. It was literally overnight. Um, after those changes hit and they started making the character better, 
um, his his pick rate was just up there because he was so hard to punish. Not necessarily in a one v one. I know a lot of people like to say he's good in one v ones because he can faint light and all that stuff. A person who's pretty good or pretty decent, they're, they're not gonna let you sit here and faint light. Like he's really strong in team fights as far as two v twos and the fours. He's really strong in those sense because he's very difficult to punish. Um, when you get to that level, um, I think what people fail to remember is uh, some of these changes. They did, they did specifically say some of these changes are for the competitive league and stuff. When they do look at different content creators in their videos, they look at the different tournaments and how some of you guys are being picked. They look at the analytics for the average matches, look at how they're played. They look at a lot of different things for their analytics. Zerk, by far, I have even said it, that, that guy is just, he's too much. He's too much to deal with. Um, he is very hard. He is very safe in a team fight because of... The side dodge lights. Um, they're they're 15 damage, and he's not going to look at you, and he's going to consistently do it, and then dodge cancel, and consistently you are not catching him. Even as a shinobi, if I threw my undodgeable, it had to be timed perfectly on one of his cancels, or I would just whiff completely. There was no stopping that man from doing whatever he wanted. So it was like he was doing massive amount of damage, as you can see with his heavies. He was doing 34 damage on heavies if you were able to confirm it for him, which you could, which is not hard when you're playing at that level. So when he's doing that, it's very hard and difficult to punish a guy who you can't even look at because you can't look at him. And if you try to parry it, you're going to get hit because he's not locked onto you. So he was really good at just externaling and peeling and just kind of harassing in a fight. And then when he wanted to land damage, he's landing big damage. He's landing Medjay size damage. He's landing Shigoki size damage. It was it was bad. Um, so with this nerf, I think that that side heavy should actually be down to 30. I personally believe the side heavy finishers should be 30. The top heavy finishers at 30. I I I think cuz I think if you go any lower on that top heavy finisher you're going to be pushing it. But I mean there's not too many characters like who are doing that amount of damage especially as an assassin. That's just that's just crazy. Um and how safe he is. This isn't going to change him too much. It's just he's definitely going to still be stuck in that role of of kind of just being a harasser in the higher levels. Um, I don't see him not being picked. At it. It's not that bad. I just definitely see that this one is the one they're definitely looking at. I can tell just on how how short of a, of a change they made it. It's literally just one. Like one damage for the, the heavies. Um, and then they they brought I I figured they need to bring the 34 down that that was just crazy they're gonna definitely have to bring that down, um, but the side dodge lights I think they're gonna keep that right there but they're definitely gonna look at those finishers in the opener because it I mean like I said he's an assassin I mean that's that's a lot of damage for an assassin so I don't know man these changes are crazy like like we are really finna hit the next level of of For Honor like the game is about to about to change like everything we know as it right now is going to be completely different with the stun hit systems the damages and how you utilize characters in different combo sets the animations are changing completely we are about to damn near get front or two right now so um i don't know i'm a little excited i'm a little nervous i don't know man i don't know what to, tell me what you guys think down below man i don't know things are, things are heating up pretty good man i'll wrap it up for you man i don't sure good for you i'm gonna get this shit to you raw man thank you all for coming out